Hello and welcome back. Uh, today I have a new topic for you. It's around the templates that are available in Microsoft Excel. So first of all I would like to open Excel. Here if you see the new, in the new you will have some of the templates available in Microsoft Excel that we can benefit from it and it can help us in many things in many uh, of our daily jobs for example you're working in a company and you want to make a billing statement to a customer from your company so we will select the billing as soon as you click here you will get a new file the ready-made file I will just zoom out a little bit you can see here first you need to put your company name so here you'll, you'll put a company name let's say ABC supermarket That's the name you can put address as well whatever the address is let's say ABC in the uh, this is the address here if you have another address you can also put another address uh, the city the zip code you can add here let me put here Kabul and any code let's say 24 uh, the phone number of your company you can put the phone number here once you put there if fax is available you can use the fax number as well or if not available you can even delete sometimes you don't need you need to delete Sometimes we need it, we need to put it. In case you have, you, you need to put it here after the phone number, the fax, and uh, email. Let's say mad at gmail.com or at abc.com. It's the email address. Then, and, and down here, you can put the, state, uh, the uh, statement number which number statement that you are sending to them let's say I put it ABC dash 00151245 date it will be automatically picked by the system as you can see here it's given with uh, a formula equal to today so the moment you want to make it you can get it from there so it will be automatically uh, entered there if you have a customer ID maybe he is uh, one of your loyal customer or one of your customers who normally buy the things from you so you can put here the customer ID let me put it here ABC uh, 0009 maybe this is the customer name then to whom you are sending you need to put the name of that customer Let's say, for example, John is the customer. His company name is XYZ Company. Address, you can put it, let's say, it's uh, in one of the, uh, the cities in Turkey. Let me put Istanbul. Maybe any street number the uh, house number so we added here any second address you can put it also the city you can put it let's say Istanbul and any zip code of that area you can put that as well then you you need to come down you will select a date here you will put a date for example here I will just put today's date so I'll take control and semicolon and enter so I'll get the date here also you can put the average at the end or maximum or the sum that we will discuss it later the type which type of uh, things uh, that it was uh, purchased let's say for example grocery any invoice number 
so you can put the invoice number if you have given any uh, uh, invoice for that let me let me put here 00914 the description it was grocery let's say so how much was the amount I will put it $90 the payment you can select the payment here is was it a cash payment or credit payment you can also add here the a uh, cash or credit or uh, you can select here maybe the amount was let's say $120 and he paid $90 so the balance with him it will remain $30 uh, similarly you can add more and this and you can give the statement directly to the customer so this is bas basically a type of statement you are creating for a customer for buying anything so any a uh, of the dues amount uh, that are with them it will be also written here like the balance dues on uh, in 30 days uh, this is how we create a billing statement you can put the customer name uh, ID the address all it will be here and you can uh, send it to the relevant customer so this is how we create a billing statement similarly if I come to new again we have let's say blood pressure tracker you have expense report you have loan and amortization schedule you have the personal monthly budget you have the sales report you have the time card you can select anyone for example I will select the expense report let's say for example one of the customers is going to uh, a mission from his uh, company and he want to report his uh, expenses that he have spent definitely if he is going for a company uh, so he will be reporting his expenses for example it's a ABC company and it's expon expense report so here first you need to identify the purpose what is the purpose of the expenses why the expenses are done for example the office regional office visit was the plan you can put a number statement number here if you have depending from your uh, company you they will give you a number or uh, any of the ID or not then you can put the employee name for example in this case it's John and his position is let's say manager operations uh, department which department you can say let's say the business operation department and what's his line manager here the manager means who uh, uh, to whom this uh, John is reporting for example he is reporting to Kevin. Uh, employee ID maybe he will have an employee ID as well maybe for example you, you can take 0092 is the employee ID now here what we need to put is the dates and the uh, the amount spent on the uh, anything like for example here we have the hotel expenses we have the uh, transportation expenses we have the fuel expenses the meal the phone and the entertainment and the miscellaneous expense I will just put one example to get the date I will put control semicolon to get today's date for example this report is for 12th of August I will select 12th August then any account number no need account number because it's, uh, if it's spent on cash so we do, you don't need the uh, account number so I'll put description Let's say regional office visit so 
how much was spent on the hotel in this example I'll take it $50 how much was spent on the transportation let me put it $20 how much was spent on fuel let me assume we didn't have any fuel expenses similarly what how much was spent on the meals I'll, pay, I'll put it $15 any phone expenses no I'll put it zero Entertain ex entertainment expenses zero any other thing let me put five dollars for this as well so once I enter you will see here in the expense report that the expense incurred during this period for this date it's ninety dollars in total so John is eligible to get ninety dollars because he spent for the company so uh, for example, uh, in one of the case, employee gets some advance payment. So let's assume he has got $200 and I will enter here. In this case, it means that John should have uh, $110 in cash with him. Either he returns or he may use it on in the another project or maybe in the next expenses or it will be uh, deducted from him uh, for his uh, from his salary and he can take it as a cash so this is how we create an expense report uh, I will go again uh, here we have the approved so uh, the signature for approval maybe his light manager and you need to sign this and give it back to the finance department similarly we have a new again if I come here we have the loan in amortization you can select this one so as you know when you are taking loan from any person you need to have the loan payment payback period you need to have the loan amount in these things also the amortization if you are buying a license or anything that that will have the amortization schedule let me take an example of a loan let's say Ahmad or any person want to take a loan amount of $12,000 so I'll enter $12,000 here what is the annual interest rate so the uh, rate differs from uh, bank to bank from company to company so let me assume here 2.5% so what is the loan period in years for example this loan was taken for three years so we'll put three years the number of payments per year how much or how many times uh, the person need to pay back to the bank uh, for the payment per year let's assume four times every quarter every three months the person is giving back uh, some money so start of the loan let me uh, put a date for example the loan was taken on 1st August 2020 so you can see here once I put this one I will get the summary in fact instead of 12,000 the it will uh, here I'll have the schedule payment that every four months I need to pay $1,041.09 to the bank and the number of payments uh, will be 12 total 12 times so I will pay 12 times and actual number of payments it will be 12 total yearly uh, yearly payment or early payment it is a zero you will not pay early but the interest will be 493 in fact I'm getting in cash $12,000 while in actual it, it is $12,493 and here is the schedule for it and okay today you got the um, amount on the 1st of November you need to pay back the bank and also different the, the balance details are provided 
can see here the payment date the be beginning balance initially you will will have to pay 12000 to do you will get your balance then uh, you will pay your first payment uh, 1041 and the interest amount will be calculated so you have all the details here under the loan uh, schedule you will have the schedule for it and you will understand where and when to pay the money so this is some sort of uh, ready made or you can say template that's provided by microsoft excel for easiness to easily be able to uh, provide this uh, schedule otherwise to to be able to make a, a schedule you need to uh, to be very good in accounting and you, you need a lot of time to provide this schedule to yourself after that we have if you see here uh, for example I'm taking here in the new what I'll select the let's say personal monthly budget as a person we need a budget we need to understand how much I need to spend and monthly uh, how much I need to save so here there is a ready-made uh, template by Microsoft you can select it once you select this you can put here your income for example monthly income for a person is projected 2500 I'll put this 3000 and he has an extra income of $200 probably from uh, the overtime so the monthly income will be 3200 this is the projected one this is what we project but actually the income let's say it's $3,000 and monthly income uh, for extra income is for example $350 so actually the person is getting $3450 now what we have projected as income expenses and actual balance uh, here we have it and the difference between actual and the projected you can see here we projected lower salary and we actually have higher salary so 270 dollars additional will be there in the actual you can add the additional details here for example you have mortgage or a rent so actually you, you are renting at 1500 and you are paying 1400 so it shows a, a green if i'm paying 1550 it will automatically change to red or it's uh, I'm uh, I'm renting at 1500 so I'm paying also 1500 I'll enter you can see it's green it's still okay I'm not uh, I'm doing it over budget or I'm not doing spending more than what I have budgeted so here let's say for phone actually you have projected uh, $60 while you are spending $100 it will show negative value let's say I'm, I'm trying to reduce from here and I will enter it's green now similarly electricity let's assume I have a $60 actual payment so here all the details are provided if you want to uh, for, uh, if you have a budget for entertainment you can add it here if you have a budget for daily transportation from office to the house or the commute so you can put it here for example you have projected the uh, the vehicle payment $250 and the actual cost is $240 so I'll enter here it's a $10 saving if you come here you can see here you have $230 as a difference so this is uh, how you can put all the things here and it will give you your uh, uh, whether you are in good position or you are overspending then once you have overspending you will come here and you find the ones in red let's say you didn't budget anything for a video or DVD and you are spending 50 this is something that's uh, affecting your income next month you can save from this 
or electricity you have budgeted fifty dollars and you are spending sixty dollars so this way you can also uh, do the projection and the personal budget through Microsoft Excel uh, templates so that's it for today thank you so much